Hi everyone and welcome. This is an easy Procreate tutorial for an apple and a worm. In the description box below, you will find information on the brushes used, my canvas size, and a link for the color palette. If you do create art with this tutorial, I would love to see it. You can share with me on Instagram at ZeroCatStudio. Starting off, opening my color palette and choosing the medium red. It is the second shade here. And then I'm choosing my monoline brush, drawing a circle, holding my pencil down at the end, and then also pressing a finger onto the screen that will make it a perfect circle. Then drag and drop the color to fill it. Choosing the adjustments menu and going down to liquify. And then I have my size at 70, my pressure at 60, my distortion at 25, and my momentum at the maximum. And I am nudging the edges of my circle to make them into an apple shape. And of course, you can also just draw the shape of an apple, but I kind of like doing it this way sometimes. Going back to my layers menu, creating a new layer and dragging it underneath my red apple layer. And then I'm choosing this orangey brown shade from my palette and drawing a little stem on top of the apple, making sure the top of the stem is wider than the bottom. Finally, creating one more layer in between the apple and the stem, choosing my green, and drawing a leaf. So back in the layers menu, I'm swiping right on all three of these apple layers, tapping group, and then renaming the group just to keep things a little more organized. Then create a new layer above that group. And this is going to be for the little hole that our worm is coming out of. So I'm choosing this dark reddish purple shade, creating an oval, holding my pencil down at the end, and then filling that in. I'm tapping my arrow or my transform tool to move that exactly where I want it on the apple. I want to move the apple so there's enough space for this worm. So I am swiping right on all of my apple layers, then choosing the arrow tool again and moving the whole thing down and to the left. Then creating a new layer above everything else so far, still with my monoline brush and now using the lightest pink. I am starting at the left center of that oval, drawing an S shape going up and out, and then coming around and following that same curve back to the bottom of the oval. And then I'm going to zoom in and clean up my lines a bit. So I'm just closing this off at the back and don't worry if it's not perfect, we are going to fix this so that he is lined up in a few minutes. But for now, I'm just getting my shape exactly where I want it. So I want his head to be a little bit bigger than the rest of the body. And there we go. All right, going back to the layers menu, tapping the end of the worm layer and decreasing the opacity so that I can see through tapping my arrow tool that will select the whole layer and then I am tapping outside of the box to nudge that layer where I want it to be and then erase just this little edge I'm using the monoline brush as my eraser and then just erase this little edge so that he is not overlapping with the hole create a new layer and double tap on that layer choose clipping mask then selecting the medium pink shade and drawing some lines across my worm. I'm going to increase the size of my brush a little bit, drawing some lines across my worm to create the segments of his body. Then I am tapping the end of that layer and reducing the opacity. Creating a new layer, double tapping on that, and making it a clipping mask as well. Using that same dark pink to draw a curved line for the smile. Holding my pencil down at the end so I can adjust it exactly where I want. 
then switching to the darker red shade, the one that we used for the hole, and using that to create an eye. And now we have our whole flat illustration. I am going to group these worm layers together, swiping right on all the worm layers, tapping group, and renaming it just to keep ourselves organized. And then I'm going back to my apple group, opening that group up, and I am going to start adding some shading. So starting with the leaf and the stem, I am using two fingers to swipe right on those layers, making sure the little checkerboard background shows up on the layer. And then I have, so I have alpha lock on and I can only draw in that layer using my flat brush at a 50% opacity and uh, using my darker red, I am adding some shading to the edges of the stem and the very top. Switching to my darkest shade, the one from the hole, and using that to add a little more shadow to the very top of the stem. Switching my color to yellow and using this for the leaf. So going to my leaf layer and adding some yellow to the top part of that leaf. Going to my apple layer, creating a new layer above it double tapping on that layer, choosing Clipping Mask, and then I am selecting the first red in the palette. So it's slightly darker than the red that we used to draw the apple in the first place. And I'm just going to slowly start building up the shadows. So I'm adding a little bit to the very bottom center and very top center. And then I'm going along the edges and I am using the side of my pencil with gentle pressure to add all of this shading and just building it up pretty slowly. Once I have that first layer done, I'm switching to this medium pink and I'm going to keep adding some more shadows over the places where I already added them. I'm mostly focusing on the right side of the apple and the area under the worm and of course the very edges of the shape. I'm making sure that the darkest parts of my shading are the very top center and bottom center. And I'm just continuing to adjust the size of my brush as needed. I like to be able to see the brush strokes from the flat brush so I'm okay with those not being fully blended in. Going to the orange in my palette, and I'm going to start focusing that more on the left side of the apple. So I'm very gently adding some of that, choosing the lightest pink and using that for the final highlights. I'm doing a very light one right above the worm and then another darker one on the top left part of the apple. And finally, I'm choosing yellow and adding just a little bit to that same spot where we had put the orange before. And then just take a look at it and see what you think it might need. Mine, I feel like needs some more darker shadows and contrast. So I'm choosing the darkest color from my palette and I'm just lightly going over the right side and the edges of the apple. Going back to that layer, Swiping left on it and choosing duplicate. So I'm duplicating that whole layer and that will add some more depth to the shading. Then creating a new layer, making that a clipping mask and setting it to overlay. I'm choosing the yellow from my palette and choosing the Flix brush. It can be found in the sp uh, spray paint section. I'm keeping the opacity of the brush at about 50% and I'm using a pretty small size. You might need to adjust the play with the sizing based on your canvas size and how big you made the apple, but I'm just very lightly going over the whole thing to add some of this texture. All right, that's it for the apple. So I'm going to close that group. 
going to the hole, swiping right on that with two fingers, and using the darkest shade in my palette, adjusting it to be a little bit darker, using the flat brush, going along the left side of the hole, probably covered a little too much there, but that's okay, choosing the magenta shade now and going along the right side, then switching to my darker red and using that for the very right edge of the hole. So now for our little worm, I'm creating a new layer right above his body, so it's underneath the segments and the face. And if you create a new layer in between other clipping masks, it will already be a clipping mask, so I don't have to do that, but make sure if for some reason it it's not, just make sure this is a clipping mask. And then I'm using the darker pink to shade along the bottom and the top edge of this worm. Don't worry if it's looking a little rough because we, unlike the apple, we are going to blend this one out. So once I have my darker shade, I'm switching to white and I'm going along the center of the worm. And then I'm taking my blender, having it set with the flat brush, and then using that to blend up, going through the center of the worm and following the curve of his body. And finally, choosing my medium pink again and going back in with the flat brush to just add a little more shadow back in if needed. I am mainly focusing this on the bottom and a little bit on the curved edge of the top. And that is it for this one. I hope it was helpful. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.